my name is Heather and this is a new release Tuesday. Now there are a lot of books I'm going to talk about today, so I apologize if some of the synopsis are a little bit brief, but there's a lot, so, and we have very little time to get through them, so let's begin. The first book today is Fates by Lainey Bross. Beth has lost everything. She she fell from her tranquil life in Terra and is exiled to the human world. Her punishment is to make people's fates unfold according to plan. And her last assignment is to kill Lucas Keller. Beth will be her ticket home, only she's starting to fall for him. The World to be Made by Megan Crew. This is the third book in the Fallen World series. This series is all about a strange virus that sweeps a small island community and the government exiles it, meaning no one can get in and no one can get out. Few healthy people that survive are fighting for dwindling supplies and trying to figure out what has caused this strange virus. Glass Casket by McCormick Templeman. This is a fantasy novel about Rowan. One morning, five horses and their riders thunder into her village, going into the forest and disappearing through the hills. Only a few days later, the writer's body showed up. No one knows how they were killed. Something, either a beast or a man, is following the writer's past that leads straight into Rowan's village. Love Me by Rachel Sh Schukert. Sorry about that. This is the second book in the Starstruck series. The series is a historical series all about old Hollywood. The series follows three teen girls who, who learn what it takes to become a star but how far are they willing to go for it, and the prices and perils that fall with it. Pieces of Me by Amber Kaiser. Jessica is killed in a car accident, and her parents decide that Jessica would want to, would have wanted her organs donated to people who desperately need them in life. Only one problem, Jessica does not want to be torn apart literally. When these people get an organ from Jessica, they're not just getting an organ, they're getting memories of each individual person that's getting an order from Jessica, like tying them all together with their memories and feelings and all the stuff like that. Sounds really cool. Three by Kristen Simmons. The third book in the Article 5 series. This series is all about a post-apocalyptic world where the world is much different and instead of police there are soldiers everywhere and no bill of rights but a moral of rights. Before My Eyes by Caroline Bach. 17 year old Claire is taking care of her six year old sister when their mom suffers from a stroke and is in the hospital. Claire thinks she has everything under control until she meets a guy named Brent online but then she meets a guy named Mac. The feelings get kind of crazy and get complicated. Throw in Berkeley, who also works with Max, and is lonely and is suffering from paranoid schizophrenia. This book is narrated in turns by these three people whose life is somewhat falling apart. Counting to D by Kate Scott. The book is about Sam, who is dyslexic, smart, and illiterate. Sam moves away with her mom to a faraway city, and Sam meets a new group of friends that call themselves the Brain Trust. Sam decides to hide her learning disability, but how far can Sam take it without exposing who she really is? Road Rash by Mark Parsons. This book is about a teenage drummer who finds out what life is really like on the road, on tour with a rock band. This is said to appeal to fans who love Almost Famous. The Tyrant's Daughter by J.C. Carlson. This book is all about Layla, whose family flees to the U.S. after her father was killed in a co-op. She is adjusting to life, hoping and getting opportunities, but her mother is stuck in the past trying to work with the CIA to take down whoever killed her father and regain, and regain their throne. Lady Thief by A.C. Glochlin? So sorry about that. This is the second book in the Scarlet series. The series is a retelling of the Robin Hood tale. So if you love Robin Hood, definitely check this book out for a different, interesting spin on it. White Space by Elsa J. Bick. In the tradition of Memento and Inception comes a thrilling and scary young adult novel about blurred reality where characters and a story find a deadly and horrifying world exists in the space written in between the lines. Bull's Gold by Philippia Gregoria. The third book in the Order of Darkness series. It's a historical fiction series about uh, about Luca and... I can never pronounce his name. This is Ladum. Who fall for each other when they shouldn't. And there's a lot of different kind of paranormal aspects within this historical novel as well. I've heard great things about it. The Tinker King by Tiffany Trent. The second book in the Unnaturalist series. This is a steampunk series about an alternate world of London where magical creatures are preserved 
in museums, and two teens find themselves caught in a web of intrigue and danger. All That Glow is by Ryan Grodelin. The book is about Emerus, who is a fae who is sent and is sent to London to join the fairy guard and is sent to protect the prince, and then things happen and she must protect and go after some people. Allure by Lynn Enwig. It is a gritty, sexy novel about a teen who is forced to become a lure. A beautiful girl who is used to lure victims of gang violence. So it sounds very intriguing. Split Second by Cassie West. This is the second book in the Pivot Point series. This series is a paranormal type of series where it follows different teens that have these different abilities. I read the first book so I'm pretty excited to read the second one. Feral Curse by Cynthia Smith. This is the second book in the Feral series. This series is all about three teens who are snared in an underground kidnapping ring. And they end up on a remote island ruled by an unusual species. Like and our last book today is Grasshopper Jungle by Andrew Smith. 16-year-old Austin interweaves the story of his Polish legacy, the story of how he and his best friend, Robbie, brought about the end of humanity and the rise of an unstoppable six-foot-tall praying mantises in small-town Iowa. So that was all the books this week. Sorry for the short synopsis, but we had a lot to get through. Please let us know down in the comments which new release YA book you are looking most forward to getting your hands on. There's a lot to choose from this week, so it might be a little bit hard. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.